Ashley Young is going to be our next port of call. He's not signed the uh, one-year extension. He's very close to signing it. So, Ashley, if you manage to push it over the line, you're welcome. Um, 33 years old. The elder statesman, if you like, of the old Trafford dressing room. A, a sensible piece of business, you feel? Yeah, without doubt. Uh, an awful lot of experience. Don't forget, he was in an England squad that made a World Cup semi-final in the summer. He's got an awful lot to offer, can play different positions, looks after himself, keeps himself fit. He's 33. You know, it's not like he's 37, 38. There's every chance he could play another three or four seasons. You know, and... He's played in every game since Oli took over. I mean, does he seem to have the, be the foothold between what the new generation is and perhaps the generation that Oli relates to a bit more? Well, he's, he's captain when obviously Valencia's not in the side. You've got to have... You've got to keep senior players around. You've got to keep that... The set standards, don't yeah. you? Yeah. The set standards. And, and, that's, and, and that's what Solskjaer's talked about. You know, he's brought Sir Alex back in. Just have a chat with the players. It's about standards, doing things right. You know, and that's, he's mentioned that an awful lot. Steve Gerrard has mentioned that as well in, in the past. And that's what you need. Mm. Senior players run the dress. If you've got a good group of senior players, as a manager, you don't have to do anywhere near as much work. It does, it does, I think people tend to think when they're talking about a senior player helping the dressing room, they stand up and point things. It's, <laughs> it's not like that. Sometimes sitting in the bus going, here, this is what we need to do at this club. Or you, you go and have, have a coffee with them, sit down and say, listen, here we go. Here. That's the type of thing. Or, or even, even in training, you know, start messing... No, pass it properly, do mm -hmm. it right, you know, work hard. Or set the standard yourself by him working the hardest, like James Milner would at Liverpool. Mm, that's what you set, do. Setting certain standards yeah. and everyone else goes, oh, he's old. And he's doing it, so actually, I, I need to be doing that as well. And that's all it is. Would you, as a manager, lean on players such as Ashley Young to not necessarily say you make sure that you live out what I'm telling the rest of the team to do, but use them as the example? Of course, yeah. We used to have at different clubs, we used to have kind of committees of three or four players. You know, if I had any problems, come in and mm -hmm. this is what we'll, we'll talk about. You know, we've, we've had a player doing this, the guys were coming gaff about, right, we'll sit down, how do we get around this? Mm. And we sit and listen to them. And, to go outside and I just do what I want. <laughs> <laughs> but made them feel part of it. But also, but also get my... Because sometimes you've not got time to explain to all the players what is going on in your head. So if you tell a couple of lads in that wee group you used to have, and they'd be going spread mm. that about. The gaffer's doing that because of this. Why are we doing this? Why are we, why are we going a day early to that place? Instead of me, sir, they, would, they would inform them and keep them in touch. And also that knew if there was guys messing about, I've got it. Mm. Yeah, but I know he's a bit of a... A backside, but it's helping us win a game at the moment. Mm -hmm. We'll sort them out when he, the time's there. So there was, there was loads of times where I did refer to players. And... It, seems, it seems to be across the board, it's all extremely harmonious, isn't it? It's almost uh, Man United fans waiting for something to go wrong. There's, well, there's a I lot of things was, going right, isn't it? It was so unharmonious before, wasn't mm -hmm. it? Um, and I think whoever came in for that first three or four games, there was going to be a lift. Solskjaer is now taking it on a little bit. He's changed things tactically. He's kept that run going mm -hmm. and he's doing a fantastic job. You know, everybody seems happy, enjoying themselves. They've got some difficult games now coming up, a difficult run, obviously Champions League football as well. But, you know, United, they've steadied the ship. They've got and themselves... they're in a good place to tackle yeah. these now, aren't mm. they? they? They can just sit and wait. No one... Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is not going to suddenly leave. Even if somebody comes in for him, he's not going to go, well, I'm leaving at the end of the season if you don't give me the deal now. He's happy to sit and wait till the end of the season. So Man United will be happy to sit and wait till the end of the season. But they've got to start getting their recruitment right. They've got to start tying players up. Obviously, Ashley Young is, is, is one of those. They've got to start looking ahead. Whoever the manager is going to be next season, mm -hmm. they've got to be thinking there's a number one, a number two. Solskjaer might be third on the list. But they've got to start thinking about player recruitment now. Because in the past, that's what's gone massively wrong.